Hello students. Here are the two mice that live with us now. One of them is the original COVID and the other one is a friend that we just caught. Now we decided to put them together because they're going to be released outside anyway in the spring, which is very soon. So it seems they really like each other. They've been hanging out together always kind of clinging to each other. It's very cute. It's almost like they've been lonely the whole winter or missed each other. I guess they used to be together and then one of them was caught and the other one wasn't. So they're, they're just almost like inseparable. They're so cute. Look at that. Before that they were in this area here and they were inside this sock totally cuddled up together and um, I gave them some food. Let's drop this pea here. Put another pea there. I gave them some, they have some pear still and a bit of sunflower seeds, some, and some carrots and a peas, carrots and peas in case. I just give them random foods, whatever, a variety of things, peanut butter, nuts, any, anything. Just to give them something to choose from. Look at them. They're so cuddled up together. So, what had happened is that I had initially this cage here inside here, but with all the doors open. So it was like an extra level of them to be able to play. And um, I took the cage out because I put it outside for a little while so they could get some fresh air and start getting used to the idea of being outside. And they actually ended up just, well, every time I looked anyway, they were in there sleeping. So they don't seem so impressed about outside, but other times actually, when I just had one of them, I noticed that she seemed to enjoy her nose perked up. Oh, wow, I can tell the difference. You are the original COVID, and you are, I don't know, brother, sister, friend. Look at them. They're so funny. Anyways, that's the update. I just wanted to let you guys know. And I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. It's still a bit, it's supposed to get a bit colder. It's warm today. But soon I'm going to release them and I'm going to release them, I guess, far from home. But at the same time, I'm worried that what if they can't get food? Hey, little sweetie pie, look at their little feet. Look at them. They're so funny. So, yeah, they've been playing in here, hanging out in here. And I guess I'll put the whole house here inside here for overnight. And leave it open and I'll probably put some of these things that I have here, these different pieces of wood and, and all kinds of things. And for those of you who are just new and don't know how I caught them, this is the trap that I caught them in. And I, I highly suggest that you get yourself a humane trap if you have to trap some mice. Don't, please don't kill them. Please don't hurt them. Please do not buy the paper that they get stuck on. Um, with the glue on it. It's a, just an absolute slow, horrific death. It's so terrible. And they're so innocent. They never did anything wrong. You know, they just ended up in your house by mistake. They didn't mean to come in your house. So, you know, they go up this little ramp here. And then they go around here and get the peanut butter. And the lid closes like this. And, yeah, that's it. So they go in this little hole here. And I've showed this before, but this is where they tried to nibble to get to the peanut butter, not realizing that there was another opening over here. So this is what you should buy. And even if it's more expensive, buy it anyway, because you're saving the lives of these little cuties. So sweet. Look at them. Never did a single thing to hurt anybody. Hey, precious little sweeties. Yeah. And then over here we have Bella who wants to eat. You want some food, Bella? You want some food or you want to sleep? Come on. Let's get you some food. Okay, let us sit. Just sit and I'll get you some food. Okay, people like to see you. Here's the food. It's just um, kibble, regular kibble like anybody else has. This is vegan. It has no dead animals in it. And she should be actually on a diet because the vet says you're a bit too big, sweetie. You ate too much this winter. Yeah. All right, so let's go and... Bring this to her outside. 
She likes to eat outside. Just put this down for a sec. Hold on, Bella. Wait, we're gonna put it outside. Wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, cook. There we go. So, sit, Bella. Good girl. Let me give you your food. Oh, she's very hungry. <laughs> and we dropped a few here. Pick these up and give these to her. There you go. So Bella has been vegan since August 2017. She's perfectly healthy. She, like we said, she's a bit fat. The doctor says she should lose about three, four, maybe even five pounds. Um, but she runs really well and her pee is normal, her poo is normal. And she, her fur and everything is healthy. The doctor says every part of her is perfect. So if Bella can be vegan, so can you. Go and buy yourself some vegan dog food for your dog. The brand we get comes from a company called Vigor. V-G-R-R-R.com. V-G-R-R-R.com. Why would you want to kill a pick in a chow cow or a, a, a what am I saying? A pick, in, a pig, a chicken or a cow or a lamb if you don't have to. Hmm? Say, hey, Bella, you don't want us to kill your animal friends to feed you. Oh, love you, love you, love you. All right, everybody. So that was a quick video for now, just to show you the two mice. To show you Bella, let you know that everybody's fine, everybody's healthy and alive. It's a beautiful spring day here. Not quite warm enough to let Bella, I mean, let the two mice free, but soon. Okay. Uh oh, that bowl's gonna fall over if you push it, hun. Let's put that back in the house. All done. Coming back in? Okay. Alright everybody. Oh, bye for now. Do 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 do.